the mask that I got is Midflower Hy Hyaluronic Acid <laughs> Moisturizing Mask. Um, it says zero preservatives, and it's just a sheet mask. It's supposed to be moisturizing and replenishing. Um, and pretty much I just put it on here and leave it on for 30 minutes or it says for best results to um, to let it completely dry. Sorry, I keep looking off because my toddler is about to figure out how to escape the living room. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> so it says that the Natural essence of ancient Chinese herbs and oats soothes irritated, sensitive skin, and that the hyaluronic acid plumps fine lines and diminishes wrinkles, providing an instant filling and smoothing effect. And look who learned how to escape. We're in trouble now. So, we're going to try to put this on while my toddler runs around the bedroom. And my dog begs me to go outside because he, she's driving him crazy. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and rush this and open this up because I'm determined to use this right now. Alright, oh, it's, it smells pretty good. Oh, it's so wet in there. <laughs> and she has lotion now. Uh, and she threw the lotion at the dog. Poor Hecky. Uh. Alright, so we unfold it. And <laughs> keep unfolding it. And a cup. Not a cup. That's that's dry shampoo. Alright. The trick to these is hitting it on your face right with all the little designated holes here. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. So cold. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna. Nope, stay out of there. Good eyeliner. So. <laughs> um, one thing that I noticed on this packet earlier that I thought was weird was um, it says like it certified in compliance with blah 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 suitable for babies article. And I was just like, well that's weird, you're not going to put this on your baby. But I'm having to kind of turn around and touch her with this on my hands. So it is very convenient that this is okay for babies. Let go of my makeup sponge. That's not okay for babies. Okay, and so you're just supposed to go and get it to your face. Get it on there. Real good. <sighs> She's making an awful mess for me to clean. Okay. And it says smooth it along your facial contours. And then you're supposed to allow it to infuse for 20 or 30 minutes or really until it dries. And then you remove and discard it and massage any extra into your skin. And proceed with your regular daily skincare routine. Alright. So, see you in 30. <laughs> okay, we gotta do this very quickly because my toddler knows how to escape the living room and she's very angry. So, um, I left it on it to pretty much dried, which was way over 30 minutes but not quite an hour um, and my baby girl was going to take it off me if I did not take it off of myself alright and it just says to peel it off and massage excess essence into your skin and lightly rinse as needed I think I'm going to need to rinse because I'm sticky other than that, I mean, it feels okay. I'll have to let you know a little bit better. 
yeah, she's escaped again. A little bit better, um, a little later, and whether it breaks me out or anything like that, and how my skin feels after I get the stickiness off of it. It's, it's very sticky. Don't like that. I don't have to rinse it off. See ya. So, I'd gotten this in my Ipsy bag for July, and it came with two of them. I used the other one last night, and um, at least it didn't seem to make my breakouts any worse. It made my face super sticky. I left it on there for right around 45 minutes, because it says until it dries. And um, it was really cool when I had it on, and when I took it off, my face was really hot and sticky, and I had to like immediately wash the stuff off of it. And so I've seen a lot of reviews where people love it, and um, I just, I, I didn't, I care for it that much. And I like sheet masks, which I can't really usually tell much of a difference with them, but they're fun to use, and just, um, I, so I usually just get some of the little cheap ones or whatever's on sale at like Walmart or whatever, and don't usually spend more than $2 for them. These are normally $5. Um, if you go on to the, the Midflowers website and... I purchased some. They're five bucks, and uh, I just, I honestly, I wouldn't spend five bucks on these. I wouldn't even spend a dollar on them because they did my face awful. Um, but like I said, a lot of people said I noticed um, on the Ipsy site. A lot of people said they loved them, but there were some people like me that said they had to wash it off immediately, and it was just awful. Um, and oddly enough, there's a lot of people that just hated sheet masks, but the majority loved it. So maybe I just had maybe an allergic reaction or something to it, but I don't see how that would make it sticky on my face. And that would have caused more breakout, which it did not. So I'm not sure if you want to risk it, risk it, but let's just say I got two of these. I used one. This one I'm going to give away because I will not be using this type again. I will go back to my little little Walmart two dollar ones that I normally get because I, I like the way they make my face feel. All right um I took some footage last night I'm gonna edit all this together and then I'm gonna um start doing my makeup and do a video about some of the other products I got in my July Ipsy bag so make sure you hit subscribe and all that so that you can see all the the different products I got and if they're worth trying out or not and if it's easy even worth trying out because I, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the other stuff was was much better I liked much more this this was awful which is not their fault it says it's for sensitive skin and I have sensitive skin and so it shouldn't have done me the way it did um, and everyone else seemed to love it so I don't blame Ipsy for thinking I would like these because I like sheet masks but um, this was a definite fail. See ya.